Hello my wasabis! Welcome back to my channel. This is Kirby from Couch Wasabi. In today's video, I will be sharing with you my go-to makeup for eyeglasses look. So for today, I will also be sharing with you some swatches of the new Nicole Cosmetics lipstick. So with this look, you can actually wear whatever color of lipstick that you want. Anyway, if this is something that you want to see, please keep watching. Hey guys, so let's start with my bare face. For today, I will be using this beautiful rose gold set of brushes that I got from Shopee. Okay, so let's go in with my SPF. For today, I will be using this Bior UV Perfect Milk SPF 50. Don't forget to put some on your neck using upward strokes. Using this flat top brush, I will be going in with my foundation. For today, let's use L'Oreal True Match Liquid Foundation in G4. So let me just buff in this foundation in my face for that seamless finish. Next, we're going in with my CoverGirl Olay Eye Rehab Concealer. This is my favorite concealer to brighten up my under eye area. I'm just going to be using my fingers for this. With a fluffy brush, I'm going to set my concealer with this L'Oreal Infallible Press Powder. I use the shade 160 Sand Beige. Alright, moving on, I'm using this. Well, this is actually my Becca Jacqueline Hill Highlighter. Because it's not so so I'm going to use this container. And I will be popping this in on my brow bone. Using my flat angled eye brush, I will be going in with this Intimate Brow Powder. And I will be using the two darker shades to fill in my brows. To give more definition on my face, I will be using this Avon Glow Bronzing Pearls and put it on the hollows of my cheeks using the sculpting brush included in the brush set. There you go, when that is done, let's go in with this gorgeous cosmetics cream blush in Peaches and Cream just to give me a more natural looking flush. And I will be using my fingers for this to spread the product on my cheeks. Hello, hello there. Hi, Munchkin. Munchkin decides to appear in my video. Using this powder brush, I'm gonna be going ahead and put some of these Becca Jacqueline Hill highlighter on my cheeks just to give me a more natural glow from within. Alright, so moving on with my eye makeup. I'm going to be going in with this L'Oreal Infallible Eyeshadow. This one is an iced latte, so this one is going to act as the base for my entire eyes. So for today, I will be using this Inglot Custom Palette, and I'm going in with this middle shade from Rainbow 107, and I will be using it as my transition color. Next, using a flat shader brush, I'm going ahead with this eyeshadow matte 378 and I'm going to be putting this on my inner corner and outer corner because I will be going in for a halo eye effect. Using a more fluffy brush, I'm going ahead with this eyeshadow shine 153 and I'm going to be putting this in the middle or the balls of my eyes. So this is the part when the light would hit your eye to create that halo effect. Okay, so I'm taking a clean fluffy brush just to blend the edges together and make everything look seamless and well blended. Using a pointed pencil brush, I'm going back with this L'Oreal Infallible Eyeshadow in Ice Latte and I'm going to pop this in my inner corners just to brighten up the eye area. Oh, 
hello there, Munchkin, you're back again. Oh, there, he's giving me a kiss. Okay, next, I'm going ahead with this K Palette 24 hour real lasting eyeliner, and I'm going to put this as close to my eyelid. Nothing too crazy, just a small line, just to define my eyes a little better. Since your eyes are going to be hidden behind the eyeglasses, it's important that your eyes are well defined. And finally, to make your eyes look bigger, I'm going ahead and use this Etude Curl Fix Mascara to open up my eyes. And of course, before that, I'll be curling my lashes before applying the mascara. Alright, so this is the finished look. So let's go ahead and try the lip swatching. Okay, so these Nico lipsticks are sold for 500 pesos each. I think they have 6 or 7 shades available. They were able to send me 3 shades, that's Confessions, which is the bright red shade that I'm wearing right now. And then Wonderwall, which is the cool brownish nude shade that you can wear every day. And finally, Ironic, which is a bright purple shade that's very flirtatious and very simple. My first impressions on these Nicole Cosmetics lipsticks is that very buttery and very soft as you apply it. The lipstick is very moisturizing. It applies on smoothly like butter and it stays on. So far it hasn't feathered on my lips. So for our local brand, I think it's really really good. If you want to know more about Nicole Cosmetics, don't forget to check them out through the description box below. Don't forget to let me know how much you've enjoyed this video by leaving a comment below. And um, Oh, and special shout out to Eve's Roche for sending me this beauty loot. Thank you to all my beauty sponsors, Nicole Cosmetics, Eve's Roche, and to all the brands that are supporting Couch Wasabi. Anyway, if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and like this video, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!